हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज डॉक्टर रूपाली शेड़के फ्रॉम वॉल्चिंग इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी शोलापुर वर्किंग एज एन एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स डिपार्टमेंट इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन अ रडार रेंज इक्वेशन लर्निंग आउटकम्स ऑफ दिस वीडियो लेक्चर्स आर आफ्टर कंप्लीशन ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स आर एबल टू डिराइव द रडार रेंज इक्वेशन एंड डिस्कस सम ऑफ द फैक्टर affecting the radar range equation now the basic function of the radar is to determine the range of the target that's why let us see how this range of the target is derived and what is exactly a free space a free space it is assumed that a target and the radar are being located into the free space means there is a no interruption or a no ab obstacles between the transmitter of the radar and the target it is a empty space and it is totally a signals which are been transmitted from the transmitter are uh, transmitted towards the target target uh, the radar range equation relates the range of the radar to the characteristics of the transmitter receiver antenna target and the environment or a, you can call it a media through which the signals are transmitted let us consider some of the entities for the derivation let us consider if pt is the power transmitted by the radar transmitter and the antenna used for the is a isotropic antenna and r is the distance between the transmitter and the target then the power density given by pd at the distance r from the isotropic source is given by pd is equal to the pt divided by 4 pi r square when at that is nothing but the surface area of the spherical surface by the radius r and the power density is me measured by watts per meter square radars are usually employs the directive antenna to direct the transmitted power pt into some particular direction means a radars are usually using the directive antennas in such case the gain of the antenna is a measure to increase the power radiated in a direction of the target that's why in the equation of the power density at a distance r a directive antenna gain is considered if you see that the above equation is modified by considering the uh, antenna gain the target intercept the portion of the incident power and radiate it into the various direction the major amount of the incident power is intercepted by the target and re radiated back in the direction of the radar and this area is denoted by the radar cross section of the target which is given by the sigma and which is measured in unit is meter square the power intercepted by the target having the area sigma is given by p of t that is nothing but the total power is given by the transmitted power into the gain of the antenna into the cross section area divided by the 4 pi r square the total power is measured into the watts where it multiplies by with the meter square as it is multiplied with the area the meter square is not considered in this equation the uh, cross section area of the target is nothing but the characteristics of a particular target means it depends on the target it is characteristics changes and it is used to measure its size and shape mean the size depending upon the size and shape of the target this value of the sigma is changing the power density at of the echo signals which are received at the radio radar station is given by pt into 
P of D is equal to Pt G sigma upon 4 pi r square into 1 upon 4 pi r square. To receive the signals, the, signal, uh, the signals are going to travel the same distance. That's why 1 upon 4 pi r square is again multiplied with the uh, power density equation. The radar antenna captures the portion of this eco powers that is reflected power. If the reflected area of the receiving antenna is denoted by A, then the effective area, then the received power by the radar is given by P of R, which is nothing but a received power hmm, to which a, that is the effective area of the antenna is multiplied. The maximum radar range equation which is denoted by R max is a distance beyond which a target cannot be detected. It occurs when the received echo power is just equal to the minimum detectable signal. That's why we, Im we indicate the received power as a minimum distance that is PR is equal to denoted by S mean and R is a maximum distance that is R max. This R max is a maximum distance where we are receiving the minimum detectable signal. When you substitute these values, the PR will be replaced by S mean that is received power and R is uh, replaced by R max which is a maximum range of the equation in the equation number 5. After substitution, just rearranging this equation, we will get the equation 7 which is nothing but a R max equation where and which is given a PTG sigma A is upon 4 pi square into the S mean the whole raised to 1 by 4. This is a maximum range equation for the radar. From the theory of antenna, if we know that G gain of the antenna is given by 4 pi effective area in divided by the lambda square, where lambda is a uh, depends upon the frequency of the radar or aperture area or effective area is given by G into lambda square upon 4 pi. Hmm. By substituting either G or E into the equation number 7, we will get R max alternative equations for the R max. That is R max in terms of A, that is effective area and R max in terms of gain of the antenna. Hmm. These are the alternative equations for the radar range equations. Now, what are the factors affecting this radar range equations? What could be the factors? By seeing the equation, let us pause this video and just think on it. What could be the factors? Okay. Factors affecting the radar range equations. This is a radar range equations that is same as in we are seeing the equation number 7 observed. It is observed that the radar range equation depends upon the transmitted power Pt. It depends upon the frequency on which G or A is depend. That is frequency in terms of wavelength and cross section area of the target that is sigma and the minimum received signals that is S mean. How they are affecting? If the radar range is to be double then we have to increase the transmitted power 16 times since R is inversely proportional to the P of T by 1 by 4 means we have to 16 times increase the transmitted power pt has to be increased 16 times hmm. now 
the second factor affecting that is a frequency we know that r max is directly proportional to the 1 of 1 upon square root of lambda or r max is directly proportional to the square root of the frequency this implies that the as the frequency increases the range increases the this is a conflict to each other that's why as the uh, directivity of the antenna is depends upon the wavelength so the third factor that is a target associated uh, sec uh, sectional area this factor involves a multi scattering process that are depend on the operating frequency and dimension geometry and orientation of the target as we are discussed in the previous slide that area of cross section that is sigma of the target is uh, varies which is used for determining the shape and size of the target as its value changes based on the this uh, values are also changing the range of the target the last affecting factor is the minimum received signal uh, the the factor set the limits on the gain of the receiver sensitivity this factor limits the gain of the receiver sensitivity then this can be controlled by using the you know, adjusting the noise figure of the receiver which is given by r max is directly proportional to p of t these are the few references through which we are considered the uh, wave equations thank you